Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are in Ohio for once. Um, if you guys remember on back on the channel, that is where I am from originally, Ohio. So we're back here for a couple that I went to school with, Emily and Connor, and we're gonna be DJing today. We got a pretty substantial setup. We got cold sparks, we have the movers, we're doing ceremony audio, we got a monogram, all kinds of good stuff. You guys might remember OGs. Little brother Michael here to help out today. Don't have Ralph or Gabe or any of the guys from back home, or my new home. But yeah, we're gonna get set up. Uh, we're at Z Barn in New Concord. So it's gonna be lit. Let's go. Well, the sunlight's being in a little bit of a pain when it comes to filming, but all changed, all ready to go for today's wedding. Let's go through the setup because we got some dope stuff. Like I said, we're doing cold sparks, we're doing mover. Let's just look at it. So this is the setup for today. Very clean, very awesome. We did have a little bit of an issue with power, mostly because uh, they didn't have enough power at this one outlet. So we had to run all the way down and around to get us a dedicated 20 amp circuit so that we can power everything. Starting with audio speakers are my favorite, the JBL PRX 715XLF, 712s up top. This is by far my go-to wedding sound system. Of course, we have the custom turntable booth with the Rain 12s and the Pioneer S9. I built this, you can't buy it anywhere. Laptop stand, running an HP Spectra 15 inch 15T 360 for our audio. And then back here we have the back rack as always with the Yamaha MG12, Furman, power conditioner, wireless mics, audio technicas down there, drive rack PA2 and show express running for our DMX. Speaking of DMX, we have all of our DMX running on our laptop over here. This is my new HP Spectra 360. It's the Navy edition. It's pretty dope. But we're running Show Express on here and we have control of the cold sparks on here too, but the cold sparks are right off right now, so I don't have control. But we're running wireless DMX to the cold sparks. We're running our movers. We have both lighting. Let's let's just look. We got the ADJ Inno Spot Pros up here running of course off wireless DMX on top of our Global Trust totems. Then we have are cold spark fountains. These right here, I actually sell these. These are both lightings cold spark fountains. I have four of them and there's, it's really simple to use. So you just put your powder in right here and we're good to go. And the, they shoot out right from there. Back of it is just power con in. We were running wireless DMX, so we plugged the DMX in right there. Of course, it's off right now. But yeah, I like that they're all black, unlike some brands that put their branding all over them. Nice and clean. We got two of them. I own four of them now. They're super easy to use, and uh, the way you control how high these go is the powder. So currently, right now, I bought all indoor powder, which means they're going to get just barely to the top of these rafters. So that's about 9-ish, 10 feet in the air. Perfect for most of our indoor celebrations that we do. And then on the lighting side, we are rocking the both lighting S4 minis my new go-to's for when we're just doing a little bit of lighting we need a little splash of lighting around the setup we got eight of those spread around and yeah that's that's pretty much it cold sparks movers a little bit of lighting around there for the turntable booth all important fan because we're outside in the background now i will say we are outdoors but we're up in ohio it's august and uh, up in ohio in august is like the spring in north carolina so I am perfectly, I'm sweating a little bit, but so much more comfortable in terms of temperature, humidity, than down in North Carolina. It's so hot right now in North Carolina. I hate outdoors right now. We're also doing a monogram inside. I'll show you guys that in a second, but I'm at the ceremony, which is right off the back here. We have about 120, 150 guests today, and we had three mics that we needed for this ceremony. So I have my nice little lifetime table with a black scrim, so it's nice and clean. We have my mic rack with the uh, power conditioner. This is from Colorado Sound and Lighting. It's not a StarTech power conditioner. It has a mod done from Colorado on the lane they modded it to have a battery in it so if you need battery power it's got it we're running off a of hard power today had to run an extension cord down for here but we got two lapels one for the officiant one for our groom that we can pick up the audio from the groom and the bride and then we have a third handheld mic for readings today all the audio is processing through the yamaha mg06 effects and uh our videographer is also tapping in for a recording as well all of the audio will come out of the ld systems maui 5 go right here which we will move over to there very shortly i was just charging it up because i couldn't remember the last time i charged it or if we had or if we had hard power last time we used it went better safe than sorry here is our handheld all of our mics are audio Technica 3000 fourth gens handhelds and lapels so yeah that's the that's the ceremony setup uh we went through the reception setup now i just gotta take you inside and show you the monitor let's just show you a little bit about this setup let me back up let me back up so this is z barn they have the barn there the pavilion here and then out back they have the ceremony pretty quick and easy reception setup looks sick awesome centerpiece this is with a bunch of candles, the light later on. Little gap area here with this dope little setup. Bar over here, little hangout over 
here. We actually also have the Bose M16 Pro right here doing some side fill coverage to add sound to this area as well. And then if we come in the barn, we got some cool stuff in here as well. A little hedge wall with the beverage station, order bar that's gonna be right here for a cocktail, buffet set up, nice little photo section over here. That's dope, got the hedge wall, the Johnsons. And then we are also doing a monogram. So up there is the projector projecting down to the floor. Henley and Connor, 814, 2021. And then this is inside the barn. They got some little games up there. So yeah, we got a dope setup today. I'm really excited for it. Again, I've mentioned this at the beginning, but I went to school with both Emily and Connor. They were high school sweethearts. Um, yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna have a fun time. So next time we'll check in at the ceremony. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Just thought about a DJ pro tip for you guys, a golden nugget, whatever you want to call it. Everyone's got their own name. Um, pro tip, every time I go to speak on the mic, I check to make sure the mic is working by doing a something like, you don't want to do a loud pop, but like a high pitch, like something like that. Just, just to check to make sure your mic is active. Also, you can do that as a little check for like, because you know when people get in the get into the reception, it gets a little bit, the volumes are a little different than when you did the sound check with no people in there. So I just go out there just, just to make sure I sound, I got a good volume level. And then also, before you do any announcements, you just, just it's a double check to make sure your mic is on. A little pro tip there. And that is a wrap. And just, just, just to throw it out there, they party harder in Ohio. I'm just, I'm just saying. But also, we're allowed to have like liquor at like every single wedding, so that plays into it. But that was lit. That was fun. We're gonna tear it down.